You know, you got to put an emphasis on listening to your body. It will tell you if you're pushing too hard, um, too soon. Hey guys, this is John Shoemate with another episode of LiveAnabolic.com. This is the place for guys over 60 who want to get in shape. Now, I should know I'm 62 years old. I can help you get in the best shape of your life. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today uh, about a question I get a lot. Um, people ask, how often should I work out? And that's, a, that's kind of a tricky question because there's really not one correct answer overall. Yeah, it's really an individual choice. Um, it's an individual choice for any age de demographic, but especially for guys over 60 um, who have different um, physical capabilities, different health needs, um, and you know, frankly, just at a, a point in life where it's a personal choice about how often you really want to work out. Um, you know, one of the things I always like to emphasize is that your workouts have to be fun and you have to be passionate about them. And so you kind of have to pick and choose um, how often you're going to work out. Yeah, there's a lot of science that tells us about what is optimal. Um, maybe not as much research for guys over 60, um, but um, you know, it's kind of like the old saying that life is like a symphony and it's your symphony and you write it and you decide what notes you're going to put in it and you decide what notes you're not going to put in it. So you have to make those personal decisions about how much physical fitness means to you, about how much uh, your physique means to you. And if you actually have goals that you're trying to uh, make gains and add muscle mass, um, you know, then you're gonna have to work out a little bit more. Um, it is important to di differentiate the age demographics. Um, when you're, you know, 25, 35, even 40 years old, uh, you do have different physical capabilities that kind of can allow you to push your body a little bit harder and um, you recover a lot quicker. You have a lot more flexibility. Um, so you can, you can kind of push the envelope a little bit more. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're over 60 years old and you're trying to decide how much that you should work out, one of the first things you should asset, assess is what your own skill level is. And so you can kind of break it out roughly, you know, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And if you're a beginner and you're just getting started, um, you know, chances are your workouts may not be quite as intense. Um, so it may allow you to um, work out more frequently while you are getting started. Uh, but you're going to have to listen to your body and that's important for you know, anybody of any age group or any skill level. Your body will tell you when you're pushing things too hard. Um, you'll have soreness, you'll have fatigue, you'll feel tired and um, it just won't be fun anymore. Um, so you know you can kind of take that approach overall. But um, if you're just starting out, it's really more about form, uh, understanding form and getting a base layer of strength down. Um, and if you are in that phase and you're maybe not pushing too hard yet, you know, you can probably work out as often as um, five days a week. Uh, again, listen to your body, depends on how hard you're going at it. Um, you know, one of the things when I talk to people who are just um, starting out into a workout regimen, one of the things I'll ask him is, what is their, their lifetime background in physicality? Um, you know, have you done sports throughout your life or did you do sports when you were younger and you haven't done them since then? Have you, you know, at an earlier point in life, did you spend a lot of time in the gym? And, um, um, you know, if the answer is yes, then there's gonna be a little bit more of ability, an ability to jump back into things a little bit more quickly and start pushing hard um, sooner than someone who, for example, has no background of physicality in their lifetime. Um, so um, that's important to take into, into consideration overall. Um, if you're more of an intermediate, um, 
you know, chances are you're going to be pushing a little bit harder and you're probably going to be creating a little bit more fatigue um, in your joints and your muscular system overall. And you may need to take more breaks. Um, I can tell you, for example, um, you know, I'm, I'm advanced. I have been, I'm 62 years old. I have been in the gym lifting since I was 13 years old. So I have a long background of physicality. Um, I typically only work out five days a week. Uh, I work out Monday through Friday, and then I take the weekend off, and that's for other things. Um, that's so that my body can recover from the week's workout, and so that I can frankly get away from the gym for a little bit and do other things that interest me. And then when Monday rolls around, I'm rested, and I kind of miss the gym. I'm motivated, and I'm ready to get back at it. So there's the psychological aspect um, of it as well, too. Um, so again, you know, you got to put an emphasis on listening to your body. It will tell you if you're pushing too hard, um, too soon. Um, listen to your muscles, listen to your joints, um, and um, you know, just make sure that you are getting that rest that you need. It's really important for people to understand that your muscles don't grow during a workout. Your muscles grow when you rest after the workout. And so you've got to have that recovery period. And it's really important when you do your workouts that you do them with a certain level of intensity and a certain level of focus. And if your body is sore, if your body is tired from uh, a string of uh, uh, sequential days of workout, you're not gonna be able to push nearly as hard as you're gonna need to to make those gains overall. So that's another reason why um, rest is important. Um, your neural system actually gets fatigued. So you've got neural signals that go from your brain to your nervous system into your muscles that tell the muscles what to do. Um, these are, in, in some ways, you can think of them as like electric wire. They get, they get really hot and they get fatigued and they don't work as well when they've been overused and they don't have rest. So, um, so to try and capsulize, um, you know, if you think that working out seven days a week is gonna help you advance quicker, that's not true um, and, and you don't wanna do that. Um, you know, optimally, you're going to be working out, you know, again, this is for guys over 60, you're going to be working out four to five times a week. But when you do work out, your workouts are going to be with great purpose. You're going to be focused. Um, you're going to work really hard at it. You're going to take a, a job-like professional attitude towards getting it done. And then you're going to let your body rest overall. So guys, to kind of recap on this and sum it up, uh, there's really no right or wrong answer for um, how often a guy over 60 years old should be working out. Um, you're going to have to just make a personal call on that depending on what your goals are, how hard you want to work, and what your body is telling you. Everyone is different. Everyone is different as far as their physical capabilities and their mental capabilities and their drive and their determination. But I can tell you this, if it's not fun for you, uh, if you don't find pure joy in the gym working out, you're not going to stick with it. And if you're working out so much that it's eating up your life or you just feel so beat up all the time, um, then you're probably not going to stick with it. So experiment with it, find that happy medium, find what works for you and stick with it. So guys, there you have it. Thanks for being here today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the like and the subscribe button. And guys, always remember, obstacles are what you see when you lose sight of your goals. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.